Hi, my name's Gordon from Gimeo, and today we're going to talk about how to fix blurry, pixelated, or fuzzy email signature images. Now, this generally happens because of scaling, um, and what I mean by scaling is uh, a lot of uh, the new age devices, um, are, you know, iPhones, Androids, and even some laptops and desktops use scaling. And what that means is basically, it may, because the resolutions of the displays are so high, they need to zoom in on the um, you know on the platform like the operating system in order for it to be visible um, by people that's uh, basically what it is now with scaling if you scale uh, a uh, you know if you scale in on a vector based image which has basically unlimited amount of pixels it'll always look crisp and clear but if you scale in on a raster based image which has a set amount of pixels what you end up with is um, something like this, where the image uh, in the email signature actually turns to be blurry. You can see where it started from and then where it ends up. Um, and the same thing with the pixelated. They just end up being all pixelated. So now that you know what scaling is, there's a few ways to, um, to fix email signature images that become blurry. Um, the first thing is to use a high resolution image. Um, the second thing is to uh, check the scaling settings on your PC, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the third thing is to um, set your images to 96 dots per inch uh, because that's what Outlook uses to scale the images. Um, one thing you shouldn't do is uh, you shouldn't have transparency in PNG images and also you shouldn't resize images using HTML attributes. So let's now take a look at um, the first point, which is to use some um, high resolution. Uh, images. So when you use a high resolution image, uh, you can scale it down in HTML. Um, and I'll just show you how to do that now. So this is a signature HTML file that I've got here. I'll just open it with Sublime Text. Um, now if I just search for the image, um, so you can see here um, the image that I've actually used is uh, this image here. And we'll just take a look at the native resolution of that one. Um, so it's 3,744 pixels by 5,616, so it's um, quite a high resolution image. But if you have a look here in the actual um, email signature, I've scaled it down using these height and uh, width attributes, even though I'm using the original size image, uh, as you can see here. Now, I'll just show you what I mean by that. So you can see the images here, but if I click on that image and change the scaling back to 100%, it just blows out to be very large. So basically scaling it down is quite easy using our email signature generator called Gimeo. If you haven't tried it already, give it a try. Um, it's got tons of layouts. Um, and yeah, it does have really uh, awesome features like scaling your images um, to stop them from being blurry um, on you know scaled devices. So yeah, you can scale it using Gimeo quite easily. Or you can scale it in HTML as well, just by adjusting these um, attributes here. So the next thing is um, to check your scaling on your PC. So I'll just show you how to do that now. In Windows, you basically just right click and you go to your display settings. And then this is the scaling here. So sometimes you might get um, your settings might be set here. And what will happen is, uh, you know, you'll get the blurry images if the email signature hasn't been set up correctly or if the recipient you know if your um, email signature hasn't been created using an email signature generator that that uses um, retina images um, so yeah, you can set it like that in windows is quite easy in mac um, i believe you just go to system preferences and then go to displays and then go you know click on default for display i believe, I believe it is so Next thing is to check the DPI on your images. So uh, the, the way to check it in Windows is just right click on the image and go to properties. Now, just before I forget, um, you can only check the DPI on JPG or JPEG images. I believe with PNGs, you can't actually check it in Windows using this method. But if you've got a JPG, you just right click on it and then go to properties. Go to the details tab up the top. You can see here the DPI, um, the 72 uh, DPI for that image. Now, uh, we should use 96 DPI uh, because Outlook uses, uh, for some reason, Outlook is very picky with DPI of the images that it likes to show. So 
using 96 DPI images um, is always optimal uh, when using Outlook. So if you've got something like um, you know Photoshop, you can just right click on the image and then go to open with and then choose Photoshop. And I'll just show you now. So you just go to image up the top and then go to image size and then change the resolution there to be 96. Click OK, wait for it to do the processing and then just save it as a new image and use that image instead for your um, email signature. Um, so the other thing is uh, that I mentioned at the start is not to have transparency in your PNG images. Now the reason for that is because Outlook actually converts images to GIF uh, images. So if you have a PNG or a JPG image in your email signature, uh, when Outlook renders that email signature, it will actually convert the image to GIF and um, GIFs natively don't support alpha channels like PNGs, uh, which then makes um, the, the image actually look pixelated um, if you have transparency on the PNG. So basically, yeah, don't use transparency in PNG images when you're using them for email signatures. Um, and the last thing is to not uh, resize GIF images using HTML attributes. That's one thing that we've noticed um, causes an issue with Outlook again. So basically don't use, um, if you're using a GIF image, always make sure it's the correct size um, image uh, for your email signature. So if your email signature image needs to be you know, 168 by 112, instead of resizing it in the code itself, um, just make sure the image is the correct size from the start. So yeah, hopefully this has given you a bit of an insight into how to fix blurry or pixelated email signature images. Um, if you haven't already, um, give our email signature generator a try. We've got tons of email signature templates to choose from and um, you can create some really amazing looking email signatures. And one of the best things about it is that if you've got a large team of um, staff, you can easily deploy email signatures to them as well. And you can um, basically make all the common information uh, you know, consistent across all the email signatures. So if you wanted to have the address, um, you know, be, uh, be applied to all the signatures in the, in the group, you can see the uh, apply this tag to this signature or all signatures in this group. Makes it really, really easy to, um, you know, make lots and lots of signatures for your staff. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time.